is everybody doing and welcome back to another video and in today's video I am gonna show you guys how to build a piston engine car from scratch so uh, we're gonna build a car like this but in, it's small uh, we're gonna build a smaller car than this this is actually quite long and well I'm pretty much gonna show you guys how to build this car after being smaller now the first thing I want to tell you is this engine right here as you guys know I personally don't know how to create piston engines so this engine is created by so this piston engine is created by Alstrak A-L-S-T-R-A-K I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong but it is he is the one who has created this piston engine I'm gonna show you guys how to build it in this form and how to make it even more smaller so I'm gonna show you guys how to build it all the way from scratch from nothing, nothing, <laughs> like pretty much nothing. Right, anyway, so let's get started. First of all, you want to just place your lift down. After that, you wanna place a simple block. Then, after you wanna place two blocks, you wanna place a bearing on both sides, and then you wanna place a side piece just like so copying how it has been done there, in which you wanna place two pistons like so place two side bearings I mean place two side pipes place bearing on both then place the pipes like this put a six piece here and then a simple six piece there now you should have this right here just like that connected like so you should have this combination right here just like so and after you have this all you need to do is you want to extend one pipe out and then you want to you want to place a sensor damn it you want to place sensor here here and then you want to place one here and here just like so in that configuration then you want to place a bearing then you want to place a coil like this then a block like this and then you just want to place another bearing and connect it to the main chassis just like so like so after you got it connected to the main chassis you can build it now this here is your timing belt thing all uh, right okay so after you've got this what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a controller two logic gates and two buttons so first of all here's what you want to do okay I, okay so you don't want to place them in this configuration right here what i would suggest you do is you place them right here because you actually need to do some stuff with a little bit of logic so what i suggest you do is you place the logic block just before the pistons the two logic blocks in this configuration controller you can place anywhere it's up to you and then switches to you can place anywhere right anyway so i want to first connect the controller to this shifting in nine oh not this one shifting in 90 degrees by default connect it to this crankshaft right here make it go negative 15 degrees with default and 60 degrees when you press the button just like so as you can see it is the same thing as happened here and i just realized i connected the button and the uh, bearing wrong way anyway the same thing has happened here i'm just teaching you guys how to make it shorter just like so so i just realized that i connected this the wrong way right here you want to do this then do 60 degrees just like that and then you have your timing belt okay after that you just want to this is your simple clutch mechanism here all right so well i'm gonna show you guys that afterwards first of all you just want to fire it up you want to make sure that this engine works so here's what you need to do you want to first connect the top bearing to the nearest logic gate then connect that to the nearest piston connect the bottom bearing the bottom sensor to the far logic gate connect that to the far piston now you want to set uh, these the guys to one just like so and i guess it should work oh my god it works automatically i forgot to hook the switch up right <laughs> all right so what you want to do is you want to hook one of these switches up to this and then you just want to hook the other one to the controller so the controller will be your accelerator and there you guys you guys can see it works okay so it's glitching right now because the sensor are actually hitting the ground so okay it, it works now here's what you want to do afterwards so after you've got your working engine what you want to do is okay so for me survival has these weird piston glitches that the pistons go through 
I I hope this is not actually survival. I'm just playing creative. I have no idea why it happens, but hey, we're gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, you just want to place a five block right here, just like so. Just after that piston, place four cogs going outwards. Outwards. Now, if you guys know what I'm doing here, you should already know that this is a simple clutch mechanism. Now, uh, you guys should already know. But the guys who watch my clutch and drive shaft video, you guys should already know how to make this right. Anyway, so now you want to line your frame up with this block right here, like and so, like this. After that, you wanna take four blocks. Then you want to stretch the pipe until you reach here, right here. This pipe should be straight. Uh, forward with this one just like so when you have that you want to place a t-pipe put two bearings and then put two t-pipes then put a side connector just like so put another piston then do that and then just roll these two now this is a simple transfer act. so for you guys that don't know what does what this does or how to make well this pretty much transfer power from this side to that side if you guys if the guys who watched my clutch and drive side video will already know how to make this whole stuff and then you simply want to put a piston and then you want to put a cog just like that okay that's good and then what you want to do is you want to put a six piece right here put you can put a six piece or a five piece doesn't matter it's always up to you then you want to make a cog, a simply cog right here. Now here's what you want to do. What I suggest you do is you simply make some legs because again as I said the guys who watch my clutch and drive shaft video will already know what I'm doing here or actually my forward and reverse gear video. Because what you want to find out is in which rotation does the engine go? Does the engine rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise? That is uh, very important to know which place you should Okay, well that's not supposed to be happening is that there we go. Okay, awesome So when it is fully accelerated, you can see this engine goes clockwise direction Now that we have that info you can see oh Okay, we can see it going this way All right after that now that you have that information you want to put it right here now You see this car will rotate with like this now if I were to put a cogwheel right here, that would be like this. This, when it goes down, it will push the other cogwheel down, making it go forward, making it rotate this way. Again, this rotates this way. It will hit the other pipe here and then push it downwards like so. After that, this will rotate this way and this is forward direction, this, so this is what we want. Now to have this, also, I have found out a good way to save two pistons. So what you want to do is after you have your uh, your location, I mean, oh my god, what is happening? Okay, so if you have created this exact same design, what you want, to, why can't I get, a, get on top of this wood? Okay, so after I've created, after I've created this exact same design, what you want to do is so what you want to do is you want to stretch a block out just like so then after that pull three blocks out here and then just place a big wheel like so then what you want to do is simply put your cog wheel no oh, not there <laughs> not there not there you just want to put it one and then it is very important that you place a six piece right here because you want to connect to the other wheel so you just want to put it like that and then put or cogwheels like this and then just make it go forward now here it's always up to you how wide you want it but to keep it simple I'm gonna actually take one block from the crankshaft just so we don't have any problems later so after that you just want to put a simple bearing put your big oh put okay so it uh, okay so it collides with that so I'm gonna have to put uh, another oh my god what is happening today okay so I'm gonna have to put it like that and then you just want to put uh, just you want to make sure that you are lining with this put that there put that there and then 
you wanna put a simple piece right here and then just weld these together and there you go there is your piston engine car now what you want to do is you want to okay and you're gonna of course need a third switch and you just want to place the switch anywhere for the clutch now this can be a level one piston because it only has to go two blocks the speed doesn't matter but it can be you i suggest you take it to the maximum level or the maximum length the level of piston allows so here's what you want to do after i completed this you just want to somehow rotate it and then you just want to put in that and boom you're done so you just want to connect your clutch run your engine and there you go as you guys can see it goes forward so i'm just gonna put some quick wheels here just like so boom just remove these legs you don't need these anymore after i've done that now i'm just gonna for simple sake i am just going oh <laughs> that's not the right direction is it so i'm just going to do that and boom you've got it okay uh, i forgot a very important thing i forgot that i needed to put a driver seat well okay well it's whatever for now anyway so as you guys can see it works perfectly so that's how you do it now here in creative mode i realized a glitch where this would just spasm out sometimes the engine wouldn't work so all i had to fix that is just put this in color mode now i don't know if it will happen in survival but personally i have the same exact engine it never happened with me so you should be fine anyways guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys like this video leave a like and subscribe and goodbye